The angular position as a function of time graph of a rotating wheel is given in this figure. Find the angular velocity of the wheel at t equals to 4 seconds. The angular velocity is the slope of the angular position versus time graph. And the slope is rise over run. Now we want the slope at t equals to 4 seconds right here. But because this is a straight line, that means the slope here equals to the slope of this entire line at any point of this line. So we can make a big triangle or a small triangle for our rise over run. I'm just going to look at this triangle that uses the entire segment of the line. The rise is 1, 2, 3. So the rise is 2. The run is from 0 to 6. So the run is 6. So the rise is 2 radians. The run is 6 seconds. So we get 1 third radians per second. Because this entire line is straight, same slope, that means uh, this is the angular velocity, a constant angular velocity from t equals to 0 all the way to 6 seconds. By the way, angular velocity, just like velocity, is a vector. So it has a magnitude and a direction. So the sign here tells us about the direction. Usually, if the wheel is like this, we can just use clockwise or counterclockwise to specify its direction of rotation. The convention is to use positive for counterclockwise and negative for clockwise direction. However, just like any coordinate system, we can choose either of these as positive. And then, of course, the other direction will be negative. And because the angular velocity is the slope of the angular position as a function of time graph, that means that if our graph is any of these straight lines, then the slope, the angular velocity, is a constant, which means that the angular acceleration will be zero. If the angular position as a function of a time graph is any part of an upward curve, that means the angular acceleration is positive because the slope changes in the positive direction. The slope starts out very negative and it gets less and less negative and over here the slope is zero and then the slope becomes more and more positive. So omega changes in a positive direction. That means the angular acceleration is positive. Similarly, if the angular position as a function of time graph is any part of a downward curve, the angular acceleration will be negative because the slope, the angular velocity, changes in the negative direction. Here, you have high positive slope and then it gets less and less positive. Right here, the slope is zero and then the slope becomes more and more negative.